Hello gamers, this is your favorite Eastern European gamer and today let's talk about Helldivers 2 Phenomenon. Helldivers 2 Phenomenon is something that I've noticed while playing the game for the past week. I am obsessed with this game, I cannot stop playing. Even when I'm sleeping, I am dreaming about killing bugs and automatons. Either way, Helldivers 2 Phenomenon is something that I noticed even before I started playing Helldivers 2. It's something very interesting that's not very common for many games, especially many games that are blowing up right now. And let's give an example. One of the games that's been really blowing up in the past weeks and months is Palworld. And the reason for Palworld's success, I would say, is the clear, and I think a lot of you will agree, it's the resemblance to Pokemons, right? Pals look like Pokemons. It's it's there and there are many Pokemon fans in the world and if you combine that with like a crafting game which is it's a decent game even though I never played it myself okay I was on the Enshrouded train I played Enshrouded but in Helldivers 2 case it is much different it is something that I would say it brings out the speciality and to start talking about the phenomenon that I've noticed, let's jump in and talk about the first thing that I saw. I would sit on my TikTok and I would start seeing these Helldivers 2 videos. And there were two types of videos. And the first one was about the console and PC war. So as we all know, there's been an ongoing console war between PlayStation, Xbox and PC. In this war, Helldivers 2 kind of serves as a glue, as a like bubblegum between them that sticks them all together and brings together consoles and PCs. And it was so cool to see like PlayStation players coming together with PC players and just killing bugs together, fighting against the automatons. And I keep forgetting what the bugs are called. Let's just call it bugs. Anyways, it was amazing to see the collaboration. And of course, uh, seeing all those memes about Xbox players wanting to join uh, you know, getting in the fight, uh, getting reinforced and helping us fight against the, the enemies uh, and bring the democracy. Here's the, here's the interesting part. That whole, like, collaboration and coming together and, like, fighting against something, even though it's not real, it's a fictional game, it's a, it's some, like, it's pixels on your PC, but it brings a lot of players together for one goal. They all have one goal, even though we're not even in the same server, we're not even in the same, like other MMORPGs, everybody is in one like area or you can go to like one area and everybody's in, in one map, kinda. This is not like that. This is, you know, you're kinda doing your own thing. The maximum amount of players you can play together with is three, like a total of four players in the lobby. You still have the feeling that you're part of something bigger, like you're a part of something massive and here comes the Helldivers 2 phenomena and to describe this phenomena I will use a word called transcendence. Transcendence is a word that I had to actually google myself because I was looking for the right word to describe what I was thinking according to google so transcend has the basic meaning of climbing so high that you cross some boundary. A transcendent experience is one to take you out of yourself and convince you of a larger life or existence. Basically you are a part of something bigger, like you ascend to something higher. You, it's not just about you, yourself. Transcendence really is well described in religion where everybody sort of comes together and have this higher transcendence of believing in something higher, in something bigger than themselves. And this is the phenomenon that I have noticed in Helldivers 2. A lot of players are playing, they are coming together and becoming something higher than themselves, which means that they are not just trying to be the best players, they're not just trying to, you know, beat other players, have the highest kills, have the best KD ratio, they are all coming together to fight against the enemies. It's not only in uh, Helldivers 2 that we can see this phenomenon of transcendence. We can also notice this in MMORPGs. MMORPGs is a very close thing to me. And seeing that World of Warcraft, like everybody is copying World of Warcraft. And it feels like, a, like everybody is by themselves in these MMORPGs. These theme park MMORPGs. You're leveling by yourself. You're doing the dungeons uh, by yourself even though you're in a group but 
everybody's just wanting to get the best gear for themselves like you don't have any higher meaning for doing any of this and i believe this is one of the reasons why so many new mmorpgs are also failing and why like world of warcraft is really trying to bring back players but they're not coming back because there's no social aspect for the game and the social aspect really comes together with the transcendence i really love using that word now <laughs> i'm gonna use it a lot in this like social experience that's where mmorpgs really thrive and i think that is where uh, is the future of mmorpgs in having something higher that players can reach fighting against a common enemy fighting for a cause fighting for something that we all agree and there is something higher to achieve not just yourself getting the max level. One example that I can give from current MMORPGs, which I think are doing an amazing job in transcending players <laughs> into a common state of mind, Siege Camp has made an MMORPG called Foxhole. There's war happening 24-7. Whenever you jump in the game, you immediately go to a war zone and it's happening all the time. All the players are fighting in this one massive like server. I mean, technically it's split into different like hexagons, but not to get into details, everybody is in this one big battle, in this one big war that is just going on 24 seven until one of the sides, there are two sides, the wardens and the colonials. And until one of the sides wins, they are fighting in this big epic battle. And all the effort that you do, like everything that you produce, everything that you craft, everything that you you mine, everything that you do in terms of you know production and crafting, etc., all of that goes to the front line and it's being used in the warfare. And then you can of course go into the front lines and actually fight the wars. So in the front line, everybody's fighting and in the back lines, everybody's producing, manufacturing, building factories, etc. And everybody in that one side, like in each faction, they are in this one state of mind of just fighting against the enemy faction. And that's all that matters. There's no personal benefit uh, to, you know, doing anything. You do everything for the cause of winning the war. But Helldivers 2 is also an example of those games that have this common meaning that you can be in this massive world with many, many players. That is what I see as the future of MMORPGs. Because right now, one of the issues with MMORPGs is the solo-centered mindset uh, that so many players have. And personally, I don't enjoy it. I might be wrong. Maybe I'm just shit at games. In my opinion, if I want to play a single-player game, get into a single-player experience, I might as well play a single-player game. If I want to play competitive game, if I want to be like the best player in this in this game and then participate in esports, I can play CSGO, League of Legends, Dota, uh, blah, blah, blah. So there are so many games that have this competitive aspect to it. But specifically for MMORPGs, the beauty of MMORPGs is the social aspect, the aspect that everybody's together, everybody's having massive fights. Like when I was a kid, I wanted to see huge, like I would watch Lord of the Rings. I wanted to see like these massive battles of uh, Minas Tirith and, um, and Helm's Deep. I wanted to see these big battles in video games where I am this one orc or this one soldier standing on the castle and shooting arrows and there are massive battles happening. That's what I wanted to see. But unfortunately, uh, a lot of that has been destroyed by the World of Warcraft success and it doesn't allow many MMORPGs to innovate and actually make games that will bring that social aspect together. This is why I'm talking about the Helldivers 2 phenomena and I hope that this will also show an example for other MMORPGs. I've been seeing a lot of posts on uh, Reddit and TikTok about the toxicity of Helldivers 2 culture right now, which is, you know, of course, killing your teammates when they get samples, killing the teammates when they're extracting, killing teammates because they didn't pick the right stratagems. And to that, I'm saying, if you like this video and you have any comments or ideas or you think that I'm 
stupid and you think that I'm wrong and nothing really matters, then please write in the comments. I would really love to hear your thoughts about this phenomena and the transcendence and whether I'm actually making sense with what I'm saying. But uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. And again, subscribe to me. Also, I have a Twitch. So if you want to see me play Helldivers and mostly Helldivers right now because I'm fucking addicted to that game, then again, subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.